Like from another, like from another perspective, we've been trying to get across to I and I people, you know, to our people, to black people, especially this whole Slav and slavery, this trick, this trick knowledge thing going on. Even with the Bible, with the King James Version of the Bible, though the word slave or Slav only appears in the translation in two places and in both two places it's inaccurate with the underlying text you know the jeremiah verse slave is italicized and then in revelation chapter 18 where it still talks about like um 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 slaves and souls of men it really says body body and soul so it doesn't even have the word slav or slave or anything like that so often you know, when folks talk about like the Exodus, the Hebrews, the Israelites, the Jews, they talk about, oh, the Jews were in slavery. First of all, it wasn't Jews. It was it was Hebrews and it was the children of Israel. And according to the translation of the Bible, it wasn't even um, it wasn't even slavery. See, slave come from Slav. So we've been going about it maybe the wrong way. We've been trying to, you know, get across the black people who already been programmed, you know, to accept the lie. You know, to accept this lie, right? So we did a little more research. So let's do a little more research, you know. Years ago, we had come across this, and we thought it was like old news. But then in the black consciousness field, you know, of all these black consciousness scholars and others, you know, putting forth, in some cases, some very good and valuable information, it's like this, this, this pre-existing condition, you know, like we're just knee-jerk reaction, like Slav and slavery. You talk about slavery, slavery. It's like the transatlantic kind of thing. No matter how much you show ones that were back in them days, my around 1600s and everything, it was the Ethiopian Ocean. It was called the Ethiopian Ocean, right? Not the transatlantic, not the southern Atlantic. So therefore, that means at the time when they was doing what they was doing, it was a trans-Ethiopian ocean slave trade. I mean, how different would that be right there? You see, the consciousness coming on ones are becoming even more con well, trans-Ethiopian. Then you scroll through the Bible, Amos 9 and 7. Are you not as the children of Ethiopian or the male children of Israel? Uh-oh. That's what many of our ancestors were able to do nearly 100, 100 years ago, you know, back in the roaring 20s. But on this whole Slav matter, I said, all right, let's approach this different from some of our recent research and everything. Let's see right here. Let's just pull out of this so ones can see what we got here. You know, um, the overview. So where should we start right here? Let's ask the question, did black people, my, did black people enslave white people? <laughs> ah, interesting. If we do a title like white slavery, did blacks really enslave whites? Because as we was going through our research, we came across some information that we were familiar with before, right? But it, it, it seemed to be something that, you know, certain white people were saying, you know, about even when they talk about white genocide. I'm sure you've been hearing about the whole white genocide thing. We're looking for one particular meme. There was one particular meme right here where it actually gave some some dates, some times, some numbers concerning um, so-called white people being enslaved in the Barbary. You ever heard of the Barbary, um, the Barbary Coast? I think there's a military cadence, a military cadence song in the uh, the military. It's about the shores of Tripoli and this and that, the next thing. Um, Isha Shelley, she actually remembered it pretty well. I was surprised. I was like, oh, wow. You know, yeah, it's up here. Okay, it's up here. Okay, boom. There we go. Right there. That's it right there. Okay. <laughs> all right. So there's this meme out there. This is all part of our Slav and, you know, the Slav research. You know, slave, the word slave in the English language, the Western Gentile, you know, the Anglo-American sphere, you know, this Anglo-American world order, Anglo-American empire, the present system of things, basically, this end time of the Gentiles. You know, this word Slav was introduced as a kind of catch-all phrase, Slav or slave and slavery as a catch-all phrase that in spite of people reading the Bible, they feel more comfortable saying like slave and slavery, although that term is not there in the Bible. Right? And people say, well, it's all the same thing. Well, it's really not all the same thing. Right? Especially when you recognize that the word slave right, comes from a group of people who were known as Slav, like Slavonia. Right? I was going to do a vid and say, well, are blacks Slavic people? If blacks are not Slavic people, then how could we be slaves? Think about it for a moment. See, of course, this is, this is counter... I can, it's counter... 
Should I say intuitive? It's not really counterintuitive. It's counterprogrammative. It's counterprogrammative. It's counter to how you've been programmed. So, of course, in hearing it, it just... It, 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 you might feel a little unsettled because it goes against what you think and what you thought all this time to be true and what you probably invested a lot in really believing was true. But now someone comes across and say, hey, this whole word slavery, you got it all wrong, right? What about white slavery? We talk about, oh, look how the black people were enslaved. So is this a true meme or not? Just to, you know, to to, to kind of crowdsource this, so to speak. You know, was is this true? Let's go, let's read it for you. Ask the average school student about slavery. I like to call it slavery. You know, now that I know that slaves come from a group of people named Slavs, the Slavic people, and they allegedly, you know, were enslaved. The question is by who? Some evidence says that they were enslaved by black people. Other evidence say, well, it was maybe some Arabic or Arabian or, you know, Muslim, you know, Barbary, you know, North African, you know, as um, Jabari might say, I heard him speaking about like the Tamahu, you know, by some Libyans or, you know, North Africans. You know, I really call them Canaanites, but that's a whole other matter right there. But ask the average school student about slavery, slavery. And they think that only white people had slaves. Mm, that's true. You know, the average school student, most of us going to school from what we have heard and what we have seen, you know, and what we have been made to be like Eve and, and feel. Yeah, it's, it's white people, enslaved black people in this here America, the 400 years. That's the, that's the basic, you know, and when we think about slave and slavery, it only seems as though this word seems to uniquely link with so-called Negro or black people, especially in the Americas and the Caribbean. It seems like this is our name. This is who we be. But then when you get to recognize the true reality that this whole slave Slav idea really comes from, it, it, it's derivative. It, it's, its origin is in a group of people who are not white people, well, 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 they are not black, but they're not white. You remember the meme I just had when I started out right here? Let's just go back and forth here, right? Rightly divide these memes right here. Let's go back to this one over here. Where does that meme? Boom, right there. Not quite white. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Not quite white. There's, um, there was an article and, um, it was a still, it was a meme, but article, it was talking about how a lot of people who are known today as white people in America, you know, or even in the world, but let's just start out from here, right? A lot of people who are called white today around the 1940s or before the 40s, they were not considered white. See, to us, we just say, well, if you're not so-called black, black, right, then you're white, you know? We look at the melanin, maybe look at the texture of the hair, you know, look at some of the phenotypes, you know, what we are, you know, what we as I've taken to be black people and we wouldn't really recognize that there's people who we would call white and we're calling them white today here in the 21st century, you know, like in 2022, right? While we go back to the 19, say, say forties and even pre 1940s. And a lot of the people who, you know, filling out applications and other information will classify themselves as white, right? And we would even call them white, but they are not really white. They are actually not quite white. And you see right here, it says, not quite white. Arabs, Slavs, and the contours of contested whiteness. Wow. You mean whiteness is actually contested? Maybe we have to start the contesting blackness too, because it's like, you know, if you're not white, then you're black, you know? And we, we tend to think that, you know, like this black thing is this nebulous thing that just includes everybody. Actually, the real use of this whole black, white kind of paradigm, right, really emanates and begins out of this here Americas. Because we know the Negro term, Negroid and the Negro term, that's what it was using, say, from the continent that they call nowadays, since the Berlin Conference, Africa. You didn't know they even renamed the name of the continent. Ain't that something? You know, what we don't learn in school, right? What they don't teach in school, but not quite white. So here they have, the subtitle is Arabs, Slavs, and the Contours of Contested Whiteness. Did you know that if you are a citizen, 
regardless of whatever you look like. You could come from the north and look like, you know, you know, some people call it the pale red Arabs or, you know, the more, you know, nowadays Arabs. You know, they look a little Indian. They look like mixed peoples or whatever. But, you know, today, if you go to Egypt, you know, in the north, it's more the so-called not quite white, you know, but they're more not black, not quite, they're not black, right? And when you go to the south, right, and you have ones who are not white and they are clearly black. They actually are linked to the ancient Aswan and the Aswan. They are really the real descendants of the ancient um we say the ancient Egyptians, you know, like people like Sadat, in a sense. Not that we agree with his so-called politics, you know, Anwar Sadat. But when you look at him, he's like kind of sore thumb. Very interesting. No wonder they got killed him and everything. But there's not quite white, right? Not quite white. So here, I don't know if this is a book right here. No, it's a film, actually. Yeah, that's why I was going to look up this film right here. And this film, right, this is a not quite white film. Not quite white. Arabs, Slavs, Slavs. <laughs> see, see how they do that kind of trick, trick, uh, trick knowledge right there? Slav. So you take the word Slav, you add an E to it. But when we say the word, we say Slav. We could say Slav even for the E, or we say slave, but the E is not pronounced. They drop off the E, and then we say the word in a different way. You see the grimoire, the grimoire, the trick knowledge right there? And the contours of contested whiteness. That's the interesting something right there. Brothers and sisters, do some of your own research on it. You know, we'll be here a very long time to go into the detail of what does it mean, contested whiteness. That means that some people who we might call white, among so-called white people who are proud or, or in the hubris about being white, they will contest, as they had contested, that there were some people who were the truly white people, like the Anglo, the Anglo-Americans. You remember in establishing America, some people who came over here, the people who came over here mainly were from England, the English speaking were like white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, you know, and the other Europeans, they were only really allowed to, the not quite white ones, they, they were only allowed to come over here later on, you know, like after 1865 and, you know, the, the Ellis Island, so forth and so on. So this seems interesting, a film by Jamil Corey and Stephen Coombs, right, not quite white. So these people, if we saw them, today in our neighborhood and somebody said um did you see so-and-so and and you say oh you mean that white person white man white woman but they are actually not quite white but check this we don't know the difference just like right we don't know the difference or most people don't know the difference between or not even between but on um, the difference and the similarity the connection of these two words slaves and slavs slaves and slavs and i think that most are not dealing with this this is a very important because it's important to them in my research i found out that those people are slavic and those people are from those countries in eastern europe this is very important their whole history you know and i began to recognize that as i studied and went over in the research some of their history it kind of clarified certain things you know that we and my people had experienced over here Right, so not quite white, right? I guess it's not quite black and white after all, huh? There may be a little gray area. Mm. Well, I don't know about all of that, you know what I mean? But here's what I'm sharing with you that I got to know about, right? That actually some peoples, and this might also go along with the killing, the murder of those elderly people up in Buffalo, so forth and so on recently you know by the white male uh, racist uh, terrorist you know murderer that murdered all those elderly people at that um top some um, supermarket you know just a couple of days ago but ask the average school student about slavery and they think whether they are black or they are white right maybe some of the whites maybe they're teaching their children this now because you know these are the memes that we've been finding all over so it's obvious that I don't think it's black people necessarily putting out these memes. In fact, following up on some of the information, we found whole sites, whole chats, so forth and so on. And I'm sure there's um whatever his name is. And some of y'all have been saying Jabari and others said his name and I came across his name, but you know, he's like the last one. I mean, we've been seeing the same one. They may have different names, you know, but it's the same game they're playing. In the 16th to 18th century, right? Africans. Now, see, we need to stop this bullshit, right? Calling them Africans. They wasn't even Africans. You know what I mean? Why wasn't they Africans? D 
Did you know when this name was attached, it was called Negroes, Negro Land. You remember Negro Land? Remember before that it was called Ethiopia, so therefore they were Ethiopians, you know what I mean? Africa was a place called Tunisia. Tunisia, you know, next to Libya, look at the map. Next to Libya is a place called Tunisia, right? That was the area that was called Africa by the Romans, right, nearly 2,000 years ago, right? So the rest of the continent, part of it was called Africa portion, then you had Libya, and then most of the content was called Ethiopia. So it wasn't really called, it wasn't really Africans and slaves. Let's just call it like this, black people, right? In the 16th to the 18th century, right? Black people, right? <laughs> Enslaved 1.5 white Europeans. But notice how they did it right here. Notice how they did this meme right here, you know? In the 16th to the 18th century, they say Africans. They didn't say black Africans, because as we get into this term Africans, we learn that, well, there are ones who are Africans, and we think that Africans equal black. We're in for a, a whole other fact, right? There's those who are, you know, the um, above the Sahara, or in the Sahara, actually, north, the North African, like today we have a lot of the so-called Arab or so-called Arabic, Arabian people, so, so to speak, the, the nowadays, the latter-day Arab peoples. Right? Because the earlier ones were black people. Right? But when did the earlier ones that were black and related to the Ethiopians, you know, they were the Arabs before Ishmael. People think that Ishmael was the first Arab, but they were already Arab people. And if you study history, these people were melanated, you know, dark skinned people, kinky, curly hair, and they were considered in the history books to be Ethiopians. But notice how they did the meme right here, the center part. In the sixteenth to eighteenth century, Africans they say Africans enslaved 1.5 million. I don't know how they got the numbers, but let's just go with it for right now. 1.5 million white Europeans in the Barbary slave trade. Wow. Did you know? So this is why we're going to call this white slavery. Did black people really enslave white people? I mean, did black people really do this? And now it would make sense the reason why they would transfer this terminology from the name of the Slavic people, Slavs, to us, and then change the pronunciation to slave. See, because you do the history on the slave word, the etymology, you know, the origin of the word, you trace it right back to, it'll trace right back to Slavic people who, according to the history, were victims of... Um, Let's call it enslavement, you know what I mean, by other peoples. My question is, who are these other peoples? This meme here, and many other memes as well. Now, a lot of this is circulating around. So now imagine when a lot of white people who thought that, well, we enslaved those blackies, those black folks. And then they go do their research or come across this information or maybe disinformation. And they find that, oh, the black people had enslaved us. It's a sense of... um. Um, false justification, you know, oh, it makes sense now why we had to do to them, but it makes sense in many other ways too, right? That are not so overt and obvious at first. So here we have them say in the same meme, this one meme right here, whites were the first people, right? Even though, even if, is this is a white man right here. This is a white man right here, right? He look a little black, right? Ain't that something? See how they do that? Whites were the first people to stop slavery in modern times. You know, so that particular point, if we're going to be just as Josh says, you know, we, the black Jews of the lion of the tribe of Judah, Israelites of Ethiopia, if we're going to be just, we beta Israel here in the West, there's some truth to that, that so-called white peoples, if we're going to speak in terms of white and black right now, but whites were among the first people. My, to stop slavery. But if we talk about modern times, yes, we have to give it, we have, we, we have to act like knowledge. This is, see, there's so much, we only told a portion of the story, the portion of it that gets us caught up in a frozen psychological state. You know, oh, blacks, transatlantic slave trade, look what they did to us and they still doing this to us right now. We're still in slavery. I'm, I'm going to the slave. You know what I mean? We, 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 we stuck. We're not looking at the bigger picture, right? And seeing, well, how do we fit and how do our experience fit into the bigger picture, right? As well as the prophetic picture. But here it says that whites were the first people to stop slavery in modern times. Well, based on this meme here, hmm, 
if they were enslaved according to what the meme has right here between the 16th to the 18th century, if Africans, the question is still, based on this meme here, was it black Africans or white Africans? See, here's where the gray area comes in. I think they believe that it was black people that enslaved them. That's why I asked the question, did blacks really enslave white people between the 16th and 18th century? This would make... This is interesting because it's between the same period of time. So one thing we know, it wasn't the same black people or Africans that were enslaved by white people between the 16th and 18th century. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So this could just be disinfo. But there are those out there that based on the research that I saw and the credibility of some of the evidence says there was something going on. So do you mean while we were being enslaved while blacks and israel beta israel and blacks and we say africans right black africa were being enslaved right enslaved at this period of time between the 16th or you know the 16th century the 16th century is actually the 1500s just to point that out to folks people might think it's talking about 1600 something no the 16th century whenever the, you get the number like right now we're in the 21st century but look it's 2022 Right when it gets to like say twenty one hundred, right? That would be the twenty um, second century. That's how they do it. So the sixteenth century is like the fifteen hundreds, right? The eighteenth century is like the seventeen hundreds. So basically, between the fifteen hundreds to the seventeen hundreds, they're claiming here that Africans enslaved one point five million white Europeans. Boom, got you again. We got you. Remember how I said about the. When they say white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, see, we get so caught up on the emotion, the, the right brain thinking, but we don't really use out the, what God gave us, what the Almighty, you know, gave us. You know what I mean? The nature of natures gave us, you know, we don't use our left brain, right? Because the left brain will say, just based on this part of the meme, see, this is reading the meme comprehension. Right, reading the meme and getting out of it both what they are seeking to say to us and what point they want to want us to believe or accept, but also some of the unconscious. We're looking at the unconscious desires, <laughs> right? The unconscious aspect, right? Because in that sense of part right here, let's zoom this in so one can see this more more clearly. In this part right here, right? Part of it's cut off on the on the end, but hopefully you'll see it on on your screen, right? In the sixteenth to the 18th century, 1500s to the 1700s, Africans, not black Africans, not white Africans, not gray Africans, but just Africans. And we know that there's Africans, right? There's black Africa. That's what they say today. You, you might have heard this said before. Oh, in black Africa. I said, when I first heard it, I said, whoa, I was always thinking Africa was black. But now I get to hear this black Africa. So when you hear black Africa, that means there must be another part of Africa that's not really black, you know? So we have that historically in the north, the north part of the continent, right? With the Arabs and the Islamics and all of that, that part of the history. And then we have even South Africa with the Afrikaners, right? Another con game came in from the south, and that was the Deutsch with the Afrikaners and the Boers and the rest of them, the Boer Wars. You know anything about the Boer Wars? Never checked out the Boer Wars? You need to know about the Boer Wars. See, this is the elements of history because all these things were going on contiguous, like at the same time, as what historically, from what we believe is true based on the evidence that we're able to, you know, glean from, you know, the, all this was happening at the same one and the same time. So they have us, it's almost like, um, you know, a shot is fired in the East, right? And we do what we do in the west so when you hit a shot in the east you look to the east but you know the trick goes on in the west right so over here we're looking to the west but we're not recognizing well there was something else going on in the east right simultaneously so here according to this right here it's saying that africans and so when i first read it i said why did you say blacks because they already started out saying whites Right? But if you notice in this whole meme, let's back up off of the meme, they don't say black one time. Wow. Right? They say whites. Right? They say whites. Right? People think that only white people had slaves. And then they say, well, Africans enslaved 1.5 million white Europeans. See, so this is telling, very telling, because not all Europeans were white 
and the original Europeans weren't white. But the popular belief by the average school student and most of what many of us, whatever bit of schooling we've had, I'm sure that's what you, you believe to be true unless you've done some additional research and study and really know about the black royalty, the black nobility, you know about the Ethiopian heads, you know what I mean, the Moors and all of that, you know what I mean? But they're talking about the Barbary, the Barbary slave trade. Well, 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 how's that go from the halls of Montezuma? Montezuma. Yeah, from the halls of Montezuma to, to the shores of Tripoli, right? Yeah, that, there we go. Thank you very much. You know, Ishashele. Yeah, from the halls of Montezuma. Where the hell is Montezuma? To the shores of Tripoli. That's a military. To this very day, in, in among the Marines, go down to Paris Island. Spend some time, if you can, you know, on Paris Island. I mean, you can go on the internet and, and listen to military cadence, right? That's, that's like the, the, the songs, the chants that they chant while they're going through their drills and exercises. You know, it's to help focus. It's... It's a very ancient thing. It's like what the Psalms of David are, you know, for we Hebrews. But anyway, from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Now, when I first heard the military, the United States military chanting this, I was wondering, like, what the hell are they talking about? You know, halls of Montezuma, that sounds like someplace in uh, Africa or at least South America, Montezuma. You know, it just sounded like that years ago when I heard this, decades ago. But when they say the shores of Tripoli, I say, oh, I know Tripoli. Tripoli is in North Africa. I, I knew that. So I said, what, North Africa? So they went from the halls of Montezuma, right, all the way to the shores of Tripoli. Hmm. I thought the, that, that when, 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 when the army, the United States military, first time that they fought on foreign shores, you know, that's what we've been led to believe by movies and the society, you know, Babylon, you know, was World War I. I thought it was World War I. You know, the war to end all wars, or, or World War II, what they call the Great War. I, I thought it was that, you know, which was basically white on white violence, if you if you look at it. I mean, yeah, we had the, you had the Japanese, but the Japanese, that was like Asian on Asian violence, right? <laughs> and then also you had fascist Italy, Mussolini and the Pope, the deadly wound was healed. You know, that's all part of prophecy. You know, um, you had you had Christian on Christian. Right? Or really antichrist on Christian violence. You're the antichrist because that's what the Roman, the, you know, the Catholics, M Mussolini, you know, with the Ethiopia thing. But the majority of the war, basically, that took place in Europe, right, that was all white on white violence. I mean, even with the European Jews, right? The European Jews, I guess technically, maybe they're not quite white either in that sense. But that was basically, you know, from a basic view, a white on white thing. But yet, America... That was one of the first times, according to the information I was taught, you know, that the Americans and the military went abroad, that the Americans, you know, they would just focus on America, you know, and the West. They, they didn't want to get involved into the politics of Europe, you know, the old country. They didn't want to get involved into other affairs around the world. They left that to England and to the Europeans. They would just focus over here with, the, with America, this new country and all of that. You know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of slaves. I mean, pursuit of happiness. I guess happiness and owning people as property is a little bit of the same thing. I know some of you are going to talk and say, well, what about the Bible? Right? You don't even know the Bible from the white man, and you don't, you don't know much better than the white man knows. Right? So please... Let's just focus on this right here. So when they say Africans enslaved, they don't say black African, they don't say white African, but then they say white Europeans. By saying white Europeans, that means there's other Europeans who are not white. By saying just Africans like that, in contrast to saying white Europeans, means that there's some deceptiveness in this. So no doubt, white people, no doubt, were enslaved because, remember, it's the Slav, the Slavic people. Look up the Slavic people. But then they go down here at the bottom to say that the whites were the first people to stop slavery in modern times. Well, just if I didn't know anything else, I just look at this meme and think, well, maybe they were able to, you know, stop themselves from being enslaved. But then we know also, historically speaking, they were also able to kind of um, not, well, well stop in some areas the, the Arab slave trade, the Mohammedan slave trade. Some people call it the Islamic slave trade. And also, you know, they were able to stop, like the British also, you know, they put pressure, right, on other Europeans to stop, you know, the enslavement of black people and as we are called and they were called and Africans, 
right? So, yeah, let, let's recognize that, you know, because some people say, no, they started it. But let's look at what the truth is, because if we already know the truth and we still are not free, <laughs> then there's something about the truth that we think we know that we probably don't know, because ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So, Robaino say. So, whereas slavery still continues in Africa to this day. Why right? slavery still continues in Africa to this day? Now, of course, when you start to talk about slavery, the, the liberals they have gone to work, you know, they, you know, talk about slavery, you know, talk about prostitution, you know, there's a lot of other trafficking and other things and sex slaves. You probably heard of that. There's sex slaves, you know, and sex is such a a vibrant thing that you say sex, sex, you know, it gets your attention. You know, like, so sex slaves, people are more interested, not because people are being enslaved, you know, sexually, but they are interested in sexually, you know what I mean? But be that as it may, and even in this, uh, the other forms of slavery, don't think that sex wasn't a part of it, you know? We know that over here in the Americas and the Caribbean, right? So based on this particular meme right here is the reason why I just touched on this briefly right here. Were white people, was it really such a thing called white slavery? Based on the information that I've seen and I've read, there appears to be a thing called white slavery, right? Let's just go through this right here as we go to, okay, this is an interesting meme right here. This is an interesting meme right here. Can we read it just for a moment? Being a liberal, it is said, means being a hypocrite. The Bible talks about the liberal, the churl, right? The niggardly. It doesn't have anything to do with black people being blaspheme as niggers, but the nigger, the stingy, right? There's a verse in the Bible that talks about the liberal, right? The tax and spend, pro-choice, <laughs> gun rights for whites, <laughs> you know what I mean? All these in certain places, right? Why is it that all white people have to feel guilty for slavery and not black people? Now, actually, I think that's a very valid question right there. Why is it that all white people have to feel guilty for slavery and not black people? Mm -hmm. A great percentage of free blacks own slaves. A greater percentage of free blacks own slaves than whites. Well, I, I, I went over these numbers and they're playing a percentage game, the statistics game. The, the, the statistics, 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 there we go. The statistics game. Right, speaking this English, you develop a lisp, you know. A greater percentage of free blacks own slaves than whites. Now, that right there is a a point that most ones, if they just hear it, they'll be like just outraged. How could black people own slaves? But you have to recognize that all of it wasn't as this meme might try to present it. You know what I mean? Because there's such a thing called um redeeming, right? You know, called beta Israel. Arabim, Zebazeh, all of the Beta Israel is responsible one for another. So if your brother was, you know, he sold himself or he was sold to work off a debt, right? A near kinsman could buy back their brother, right? Could buy back their brother. This is the Torah. This is also translatable in the scripture KJV Bible, right? But the meme as itself, and this particular argument as itself, is very, um, is very potent. But you have to really put it into context. Well, let's go on. Was it okay for free blacks to own slaves? Well, I, I just put that there. Was it for free blacks to own slaves? I don't know. Was it? Was it okay? Obviously, in America, it was okay. Was it okay for the American laws to allow for the institution of slavery? You know, then people say, well, it's in the Bible. But then if you look at the Bible laws and, and the regulations of what they call um, servitude, right, is different than what was practiced in America. You see what I'm saying? And then if you look in the Bible, you don't find the term slave in the Bible that it was reading during the 400 years. See, the word slave wasn't in there, right? The two places it was in there in Jeremiah and in Revelation, already you could discount it. But they are pointing to the areas in the scripture that speaks about servants and speaks about amongst Israel, right? And it speaks about when you're supposed to free them. Right. You know, there's a time you're supposed to free them. Right. And in fact, a Hebrew, right, could not, you know, have a Hebrew work for him more than six years. Right. So if the white man really was practicing that in his counterfeit Christianity, we wouldn't have this discussion. 
because that would really it would really then be a thing of the past. Right, six years or so, you have a black person, then you free him, and then he becomes just another part of society. But there was something deeper going on. There's deception going on. What about the first, the fact? What about the fact the first slave owner in America was a black man? Now that's contested right there. I've seen some of the memes. Uh, I've seen other people who've gone into some of the more um, research to put it into context. Right, right there. But I know what they're talking about, and you probably see it, and you can find out about that, so forth and so on. So there was, you know, a black man who they say was the first slave owner. Wow. Did he own any slave ships is the question I got to ask. Did he own any slave ships? <laughs> did he? Right? So how did he get the slaves, being a black man in America, how did he get the slaves over here? Right? Since he's the first slave owner, right? Was he the first slave driver? Was he the first um, enslaver? Like, did he bring the slaves over? Right? See, see, it's a very dubious thing. So when the slaves, the black people who are in Slav were brought over here, who were they brought over here by? Were they brought over here by black men? By this black man? Is the black man a part of that? You know, so it's a very, that's very dubious right there. What about the fact the first slave owner in America was a black man? So are they trying to say that when the slaves were brought over, the black people, the black people, right? Beta Israel, but the black people, when they were brought over, right, as to be enslaved, enslaved, that this black man has something to do with it? Or that when they came over here, those black people, they were free and they was not slaves. Or when they came over here, they were enslaved, but they didn't belong to nobody. They had no owner. And then all of a sudden, later on, a black man said, okay, well, I'm going to become the first black man to, I mean, the first slave owner. Remember, it doesn't say the first black slave owner, but it says that the first slave owner. See, you, you just have to understand the black people couldn't come over here and then they get enslaved or they came over here and they were free, but then they got enslaved because they, then they were free when they came over here. They were brought over here as slaves or, you know, the way they were bound and gagged and all of that in the bottom of ships with the intention to enslave them. So was that the black man's idea too? See, it's a bogus meme. It's a bogus meme, right? Or that the New World slave trade was an expansion of the slave trade in Africa run by black Muslims. Black Muslims. Notice when they do black Muslims, and the black is in lowercase, but anyway, black Muslims. You mean like black Muslim, like the nation of Islam? That's the black Muslim I know about, right? Black Muslim with nation of Islam, right? They, they could have said black Moors. What do you say, Moors? Was it, was it Moors? Right. So the New World slave trade was an expansion of the slave trade in Africa run by black Muslims. Now, my question is based on what I just showed you just previously. So were those black Muslims the same ones who had enslaved the white people in the Barbary Coast? I mean, the Barbary area. You see, it's, it's, it's convoluted. Right. This is an interesting meme. White people have never known oppression, quote, end quote. You know, some black people might say this. Right. And then the meme maker made this meme to say, well, Europeans who were kidnapped from their homes. Now, the there is there as a place, like a direction there instead of there as like them about possessor, you know, pronoun, possessive pronoun. So from their homes and sold into slavery by the Barbary pirates, the Barbary pirates. So. Based on that first meme and based on the title of this, white slavery, what, did black people really um, um, enslave white people? Like To ask that question, that meme put across the idea that, yes, white people were slaves right, in the Barbary Coast. Right? And they seem to infer that it was black people. So my question is, did the black people, if they were Barbary pirates, they must have had ships. Who were these mysterious black people? You know, and if this was the case, why didn't they present this as their reason for doing to us what they did? It was like a get back, a payback. That would have that would have been more understandable, right, than all this other psycho babble. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> this man asked, right? Um, yeah, this is a little interesting right here, the whole Thomas Jefferson thing. Let's get through this really quickly. When the people fear the government, there's tyranny. When the government fears the people, there's liberty. That's Thomas, you know, I got a secret black lover, Jefferson. 
Now, Barack Hussein Obama, he says, they'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. You should reject these voices. Hmm. How about this one? Thomas Jefferson said, hey, can I copy your homework? John Locke. This is like a great so-called white mind, you know, of, of modern Babylon system, right? John Locke says, yeah, just change it up enough so that nobody notices. Now, notice these two statements. You're, you're familiar with the one on the right. Life, liberty, and the, and the pursuit of happiness. Who makes these memes? It's not pursuit, like P-E-R, suit, like pursuit. You know, like pursuit, you should have a tie pursuit. It's not like pursuit like that. It's like he was in hot pursuit, like P-U-R. But anyway, we get the idea, basically. You know, reading, comprehension, writing, literacy. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But before Thomas Jefferson, is it was this plagiarism? Before Thomas Jefferson, copyright infringement? Before Thomas Jefferson, there was John Locke. John Locke said life, liberty, and property. Are you getting it now? Are you getting it now? Life, liberty, and property. Then, look, well, after that, Thomas Jefferson comes along. You know, he was an original writer, the brain. He thought of these wonderful ideas and everything like that, right? You know, wrote the Constitution and all this kind of other stuff, as they make us believe. He said, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So life, liberty, it sounds very much similar, right? It sounds similar. Property equals the pursuit of happiness. Hmm. Tell you what makes some people happy, right? Thomas Jefferson owned slaves when they heard him proclaim that slavery was evil. Good point. Okay, little little Jess here. This is George George Jefferson, George Thomas Jefferson. His proposal was who should be on the two dollar bill. Okay, here's Thomas Jefferson, right, wearing his hat backward. You see his hat backward right there. Thomas Jefferson. All men are are created equal, and he owned hundreds of slaves. Well, if all men are created equal, and he, as a white man, owned hundreds of slaves who, no doubtably, you know, were black, then if white people were enslaved by black people, well, all men are, are created equal, right? I guess that's what really bothers them. That's why they didn't treat us like men and women and children, but instead as chattel, as animals. Fight for freedom and liberty. Own slaves. Are you getting it? Right? Are you getting it? little joke space right here me fighting a mulatto child over field space right this is a little joke point right here masa masa says i didn't tell you would stop picking that cotton boy right slave right the slav says the black slav the black slav he says i already clocked out this your problem now i already clocked out this your problem now right another little moment me updating my LinkedIn so I can apply for director of field operations that Masa just posted. Hashtag, if slavery was a choice. You know, because some people say, well, slavery was a choice. Hmm. I'm not going to get into that one right now because I have a dream. <laughs> I have a dream. Right? Martin Luther King said, right? Was this his dream? Can't really tell. You know, he just gave us a, a, a peek. Right. Thomas Jefferson writes that all men are created equal. And it said that he his 600 slaves. Oh, that, that's a joke there. His 600. OK, I get it. Obama. All right. Slavery in South America, slavery in North America, Brazilian slavery with four million African imports. I don't know if that's a total. I don't know if that's one year, but let's take it as a total. America slavery. Right. With three hundred and fifty thousand African imports. Now, remember in the beginning of this, the early part, we said that the meme said that it was one point what five million hmm, a drop in the bucket. All right. When they find out who ran the transatlantic slave trade. Uh oh, who ran it? <laughs> who ran it? All right. Was it really the black man? Right? That's what they're trying to say. It's, it's all convoluted here. Anyway, brothers and sisters, I'm going to like to seal up on this right here. Right, We had some other things to share on this. Okay, this is also on the white slavery, you know, as per the white slavery. My dibs on it? Yeah, of course. People were, if we want to use a slave term, were enslaved. You know what I mean? If all men are created equal, right? That means today it's me, tomorrow it's you. Right? You know, um, 
Tomorrow is me. Today is you. All right. Barbary Arabs and English and Irish slaves. Mm. Come again. Barbary Arabs and English and Irish slaves. The truth behind this hidden history. Right. This hidden history. Right? There's some very good information out here. Right. This information, of course, but just some information. Hopefully you can find the truth for yourself. Right. So there's these books. Have you seen these books around? Right? And these memes. White slavery in the Barbary states. Right? Is that the black man right there that, that was the first slave owner in America? Was he from the Barbary states? Right? And then this is supposed to be the white slavery right here. Right? In this painting right here. Now, I've seen a lot of these paintings. This book by Charles Sumner. Right? Maxine Waters. She's, she's going to tell us something. You, you vote for her? Maxine Waters. She says, pre, 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 please pray. <laughs> Please pray, trying to frame my mouth. Please pray for the safety of our, <laughs> she says, please pray for the safety of our Muslim brothers and sisters in hashtag London. Our inaction on climate and healthcare has pushed them to this. Is this a real meme? Is this a real meme? She's saying our inaction on climate and healthcare has pushed them to do this. Then somebody added to this meme. So what pushed them what pushed them to do this in the 1500s, you dumbass? Right? Over 110 million blacks. Now, remember what they said in that meme, 1.5 right, um, million white people. Here we have over 110 million blacks were killed by Islam during the Barbary slave trade era. Likely far more. Right? Exactly. Forward, exactly. The Muslims have always been this way. Okay? Right? This is based on this meme right here. Right? Um, hashtag demand reparations for the Islamic Barbary sex slave trade and rape of white women. Now, you know, this is not one of our memes. This is one of their memes. But what's interesting here is that they have a hashtag of demand reparations. Right? So there are white people who are saying, maybe like that killer, that white male racist terrorist killer, right, of the elderly black people shopping at the Topps uh, supermarket, right, the past what, Sunday or over the weekend. So here, for the Islamic Barbary sex slave trade and rape of white women. You see, by looking over this information, I begin to look at what we've seen in the world with like America and England and, you know, the Middle East stuff and Afghanistan and the mix-up stands and all of the other things that many of us really don't really understand. It begins to make sense why they're so involved in the Middle East and all of that stuff. Doesn't it now? It really makes a lot of sense when we see what's going on. Right? You know, from America and England, the Europeans, even the state of Israel, right? For the Islamic Barbary sex slave trade and rape of white woman, 8th century AD. Right? 8th century AD. Now, this is going into more of the Islamic kind of slave trade and, you know, some of these memes right here, 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 which is all a part of it, but the title of this is concerning white slavery. Right, so we're gonna focus on white slavery. You know, yeah, that face you make when you falsely accuse someone's peaceful religion of being violent. Please don't accuse our peaceful religion of being violent. This I thought was interesting because you know there are gay people for Islam. Yeah, this meme says it, and that seems like a, a real picture, right? Like say no to Islamophobia because they'll say, oh, don't speak about Islam, Islamophobia. Say no to racism, right, and fascism. Interesting. Fascism. They'll talk about fascism and they won't talk about Ethiopia. They won't talk about the, the Catholic, the Roman Catholic, the white Christian invasion of one of the first Christian nations, which happens to be a black Christian nation. So like Ethiopia. Right. You say yes to equality and diversity. This is the LBG, the LGBT. It's all this alphabet stuff. Right. LGBT against Islamophobia. Right. They say lesbian, gay, bisexual and trans people in solidarity with Muslim communities under attack. Wow. I wonder if they're going to do anything for all those black people that were, were murdered by the white male racist terrorists with his 180 page manifesto. Now, that's that was the, the gaze for. Um, for Islam, you know, I'm saying, hey, stop all this Islamofascism. And they stand in solidarity with the Muslim communities. And here, right, we have Islam for gays. 
right? Religion of peace. But notice what they're doing to these allegedly um, gay people here in their country. You see what they're doing to them, crucifying them and killing them, right? Oh, for those um, gays for Islam, have you spoken up yet on the the killing of that Nigerian schoolgirl um, by the Islamic um, mob over in Nigeria a couple of days ago? Have you that, you gonna do anything about that right there? I mean, you stand in solidarity, right, with the Muslim communities, right? Now, uh, I'll leave this on the screen. We're going to return to this one right here. We have something all for this, just to get into this right here, you know, but you should be familiar with it for yourself. All right, so here, let's get out of this right here because um, the main focus, though we can talk about the Arab so-called slave trade, the Islamic slave trade, right, and it'll be necessary to address that. Right. But the first thing we wanted to do right here is just address this meme right here, you know, concerning um, white slavery. Is it real or is it a myth? Right? Were white people really enslaved and who were they enslaved by? Right. Who were they enslaved by? Right. You sold us into slavery. Right. Black American blacks over here say. Over there, our black people, they say yes, <laughs> right? No, you can't just sell me to the white man, right? One black man is saying as the British is taking them away and the black African chief or whatever with a bunch of gunpowder, he says, ha, 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 gunpowder go boom, right? The myth of consensual trade, you know, people say, well, the slave trade, you know, wasn't all that bad because it wasn't like just stealing people, they try to say. It was just, um, it was by consent, you know, like, do you want to do this? Yes, I consent, right? The one who got the bag of money consented. The white man consented. But the one who was sold by the black man to the white man, right, he said, I don't consent. So isn't there somebody you forgot to ask? Right, so anyway, brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers, Okay, okay, yeah, these are some of the pictures, just to check out some of these pictures. This is high art, uh, you know, this is some art and everything. But it kind of, you know, points to, it kind of gives a little artistic substantiation to the white slave, you know, the white slavery rhetoric, you know, and perhaps to some of the truth, right, of the particular matter, right? So when you talk about white slavery and, you know, but you see right here, even in this particular meme right here, it is a black woman right, who is washing the, I guess that's the white slave right there. So it almost seemed like, I don't think she's free. I don't think she's the mistress or the lady master, right? So she must have been enslaved too, right? So those who were enslaved in the Barbary Coast, were they only white people, right? Or were they white and black people, right? That would make a little more of a point unless they're trying to make a racial point right here, right? But let's go on right here. This black man is is obviously working for this. He don't look, he's not quite white right there, right? And she, I guess she's the white, you know, like white slave, you know, she's being enslaved. And then the black, the black guy right there, right? And then we see this guy over here, you know, he like he has a little melanin, but he, he seems like he's probably one of the Arab guys over there, right? And this guy over there too. And then you got all these, and you got this guy over here too. And then you got all these white women, right? Right, and then we've seen that before. We've seen that already. That's a, a zoom in on it. Yeah, right. This is what we really need to address. Right. This is what we need to address. This needs to be addressed. Right. Of course, we've been addressing this right here. Right. And of course, many have addressed this right here. Right. Right. But what about these the Arab slave raid in East Africa? East Africa. Right? Like the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya, Rwanda, Wakanda, you, you know, Uganda. The death toll from 14 centuries of Muslim slave trade in Africa. Wait, hold on for a moment. 14 centuries, like 1,400 years, like 1,400 years. is estimated at over 112 million. Now, think about the numbers for a moment. The other 110, right, does that include this 112 or just 112? Two million more than 110, right? And how can we really trust these statistics? Are they just estimates, right? Here it has a portrait, right? A portrait of two Arab slave traders, right there, right, right. And right here we have an Arab slave port, right? Okay, 
Okay, this is on the Slav people. Well, we're going to return to this. So we're going to get a little bit more into the Slav people right here. Right, the Slav people, different tribes, different people who will be considered to be Slavic people. Right, and these are people who are part of this ancient narrative concerning how the Slavic Eastern European people, right, were enslaved. Right, and this is where the term Slav becomes slave and then gets applied, you know, to we the black people, right, over here in the Americas. Right, let's go through this right here. Let's go through this right here. Types of Slav, types of Slav. It's a very interesting, uh oh. I know people say not funny. You can scroll that back right there. That's also not funny either. There's one thing over here I would like to touch. Germany is not white. Um, Slavs. Okay. Now, this is what I think Hitler used to say about the Slavic people. All right? He said the Slavs are a mass of born subhuman slaves. A little pun on the word. You see it? Who feel the need of a master. They are a mistake of history. A side effect of Turks and Tartars moving south and leaving a void of power. They are brutes and perversion of the Aryan race. Yeah, this is that Hitler, that Nazi rhetoric. A cruel mockery of the ideal true, quote, man. They mean white man. They mean Uber. Uberman. Uberman. You know? U no, Ubermensch. Ubermensch. That's what the Superman actually comes from, the Ubermensch. Superman. Superman is is a is an Aryan, is a Nazi, basically, in disguise. Inbred, right? Psych sociopathic masses, a race of drunkards and addicts, and addle brain nightmare of eugenics. Now think about this for a moment. The same thing they're saying about these white people, right, over in Eastern Europe, just change up the names a little bit, is the same thing they've said about the enslaved or enslaved black people over here in the Americas. Right? When you see Hitler bows to subhuman, notice something. When did, Have you ever seen Hitler bow to subhumans? See, you know World War II history is shit. <laughs> yeah, Russia is Nigeria with snow. You pause these and check them out more. We're trying to get to one particular meme to close out on right here. Right? Okay. Right? These are some black, these are black Slavs right here. I'm talking not slaves. Black Slavic people. Oh, you, you didn't know. Mm. You know, and people say, look, there was a black Russian. How do you think that happened? Since to get up into that area, what about the black Slavics? All right. You ever heard of the black Slavics? All right. Mm. The black Slavics. You didn't know. Okay. All right. Slavic people. By actually reading some of this, you know, one can almost mm, empathize. Right. Since, we you know, it wasn't their hands that were involved in our thing. Right. Because they still stuck and caught up over there. They're still <laughs> trying to get free. You know, what I mean, if you look at the real reality. So the white man, instead of, you know, attacking us, black people, he need to go back to Slavonia. You know, we talk about go back to Africa. You know, he need to go back to Slavonia. Right. You notice any difference? <laughs> you need to go back to Slavonia. OK, this was interesting. On one side is Slavs and on the other side is white. Just keep in mind, not quite white. To us, we look at the two without any other knowledge. You say they're all white people, right? But amongst them, they're not all the same. David et Impira, right? David et Impira, right? Look it up. So we're going to end off right here where we started. Not quite white. White slavery. Did black people really enslave white people? 